everyone! So happy you're back with us to learn about another cool Bible story. We're so glad that you join us each and every week. We have so much fun sharing with you. Today, we're going to learn about the golden calf and how some people worship something other than God. Is that good or bad? Well, let's stay tuned and find out what happens in that story, all right? Now, do you guys remember naming our friends? Do you guys remember Zeke the Frog and Bobo the Fox? And we picked a cool name for our bear right here. We picked the name Angel. Thank you so much, Liam, for naming our bear. Now this week, guys, we have a little pink owl here that needs a name. We love that you guys interact with us this way, so comment below what you think her name should be. All right, and a cool thing is, if you guys get picked with the name, we're gonna porch drop a cool prize to you. And we're not forgetting those who've already named our friends. If you've named one of these guys, you will get a porch drop prize this week. So we'll connect with your parents and drop off your prize. Thanks guys, comment below the names of our cute little owl. All right guys, so this week, our story is about the golden calf and about how some people worship an idol. They worship something other than the one true God. But do you guys remember what we learned about last week? Let's recap. So we learned about the parting of the Red Sea. Do you remember the man's name begins with an M? Moses, that's right. Now he led the Israelites out of Egypt and they came to this big sea of water called the Red Sea. And they didn't know how to get across, right? Do you guys remember what happened? God told Moses to put his staff into the water and got part of the Red Sea and they walked right through. Remember that? But the Israelites still doubted God because they got across and they were thirsty and hungry as they continued on their journey. But God still provided all of those things for them, right? So just like the Israelites can trust God to provide for them, we can trust God too. Awesome. So that's what we learned last week. So that brings us to this week's lesson about the golden calf. Stay tuned. guys let's play a game now this game is called drawing with your feet challenge all right pretty self-explanatory I'm gonna show you three pictures it's gonna go from easy to medium to a little hard and the challenge is that you have to try drawing them with your feet so follow what I'm doing take off your socks take off your shoes Get your materials ready, so what you will need is some paper um, and just any color markers if you have any. If not, just pen or pencil is fine too. Are you ready? Alright, get your timer ready. Three, two, one, go! How'd it go? Let me know in the comments section who won the first round. As you can see here, it took me 16 seconds to do my smiley face. Also, don't be like me and use your hands to help control it. It's supposed to be a hands-free challenge. So try only using your feet, okay? For my second one, I got 45 seconds. That was a little bit harder. one was the hardest. It took me one minute and one second. Yikes. Alright, now that I've showed you how to play, 
go and play with your families let me know in the comment section below if you like this game also let me know who won did your mom win did your dad win did you win i want to know it's memory burst time get those hands ready and guess what we have a special guest going to share it with us let's see who it is sounds right You shall have no other gods before me. You, you shall do have you shall have you shall have you shall have no other gods before me. Before me. Before me. You shall have no other gods before me. Me. <laughs> yeah! Wasn't that the cutest little memory verse ever? Thank you, Valor, for doing that for us. Now it's your turn! Pause this video and try the memory verse for yourself. You can also take a video saying it out loud and send it to me, Pastor Risa. Then I can give you some kids' own books for participating. Uh -huh, Alright guys, it's Bible reading time. So, I need you guys to get your Bibles ready. If you don't have them ready, I'm giving you 10 seconds. Alright? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, I need you guys to open up your Bible to Exodus 32. We're not going to read all of it, so don't worry. Just a couple of verses, and we actually have special guests reading them today. Hi, I'm Oni, and this is Amrachi. Today we will be reading Exodus chapter 32, verses 1 to 10. He took what, hand, what they handed him and made it into an idol cast in the shape of a calf, fashioning it with a tool. Then they said, These are your gods, O Israel, who have brought you up out of Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go down, because your people, whom you have brought out of Egypt, have become corrupt. So a lot of things happened after the parting of the Red Sea. One of the things that Moses often did was go up to a place called the Mount Sinai, and he would speak to the Lord. And so do you guys remember the Ten Commandments? Moses told the Israelites the Ten Commandments and they agreed to live by it. And it was Moses' job to get those tablets to the Israelites. So, he took quite a while up in Mount Sinai. We don't actually know how long, but it could have been like months that he was up there. He told the Israelites to wait for him. Well, the Israelites waited and waited and waited. And again, they became so impatient and they ended up breaking the first commandment. Now, you guys should know this by now because we've done our memory verse. What is the first commandment? It's you should have no other gods but me. But what did the Israelites do? They actually pressured Moses' brother Aaron to make a golden statue. Aaron couldn't do much. He was so, so pressured by all these people demanding a statue that that's what he did. He ended up making a statue out of all the jewelry. So he told everyone to gather your jewelry, give it to me, and I will make something out of it. And he made a golden calf. Pastor Risa, you mean a cow? That's right, a golden calf. Now, was that the best thing to do? No, no, no. But what could he do? He was only one person, and everyone was asking him to do it. Moses went back down to where the Israelites were. And man, oh man, he was furious. He was so angry with them that he actually burned the golden calf. And a lot of things happened after that. Do you think God was happy about that? No. The Israelites just agreed to follow the Ten Commandments but they already broke the first one. They really, really couldn't wait that long, could they? All right, I have a couple questions for you guys. 
The first one, what did Moses do when he saw the Israelites worshiping the golden calf? Anyone remember? What did he do? The second question is, what did the Israelites do that made God so angry? And another question is, why do you think the Israelites wanted to make another God, even though they already saw God? Actually, a few chapters back, God revealed himself to the Israelites. It says there that in the mountain of Sinai, there was thunder and lightning and there was clouds all over it, showing that God was really there. So they really saw the works of God. Yet, they broke the first commandment and they worshiped another God. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today. We really appreciate you listening in. I hope you learned a lot today. So we talked about how the Israelites worshipped another god. They worshipped a golden calf instead of the real living god. They were so impatient and couldn't even wait a little bit for Moses to come back from the Mount Sinai. Isn't that like us sometimes? We get so impatient and even when God tells us, just wait a little longer, what I promised you, I will give you. We think to ourselves, well, God's not coming, I'm so tired of waiting that we just do whatever we want. And that's what the Israelites did. They just did whatever they wanted. They wanted to see a physical being and worship it because they couldn't see God himself. But the truth is God is alive, you guys. And God is here watching us and he's protecting us. And if we continue to follow his commandments and do what is right, he will bless us and he will guide us. But if is this making any sense to any of you guys? I hope it has been. All right, are you guys ready to sing and dance? I know a lot of you guys have been wanting a dance portion of our Sunday lesson. So here it is. Do you guys remember the song Waymaker? We danced to it a few times, remember? Well, that's what we're going to dance to today. You can follow me and try to dance the same way I am. Or you can just do your own moves. Be really creative and have lots of fun. Are you ready?
are you guys ready to pray? Let's do this. Four, three, two, one. So to your Heavenly Father, we thank you for these wonderful children. Lord, be with them, God, and continue to teach them to do what is right. Lord, help them to be the best that they can be and help them to be loving children and always obeying your word. We love you, Jesus, and we hope to see these kids very soon. Amen. Great job, you guys. Thank you guys again. I hope you have an amazing day and see you next week. Bye. Where it was last? One more time. So we talked about how the Israelites had to. Wow. Wow.